What makes Blue Prism such a powerful platform is not only that it can automate any process, but also augment it with artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's examine a sample solution from a customer service center to understand how. The left side of this diagram shows a fairly common process that Blue Prism can automate. At the top, you see that we have emails coming into a shared inbox that agents are monitoring. Based on the email's text, agents can do things like dispatch a technician, process a refund, and so on. Blue Prism can do all those things by working with the same systems and following the same workflows as a human would. Unlike a human, Blue Prism can scale up or down based on demand, work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year without any errors, and log 100% of its activities for auditability and to maintain military-grade security. Not only that, we can also add many capabilities, as you can see from the right side of this diagram. By using Google Translate, we can understand dozens of foreign languages instantly. We can analyze sentiment and emotion, understand context, and extract important pieces of information so an automation actually gets better by using machine learning. Best of all, we can do this very easily using Blue Prism's intuitive drag and drop interface, which you'll see as we go through this demo. Let's walk through the solution by first seeing a sample email from a customer. Here we see that someone has sent in an email to our inbox. The message here isn't in English. It's in a foreign language we can't really understand. The customer also seems to have sent a picture. We don't really have the context, but clearly there's a lot of information in this picture that might be useful. Here we see Blue Prism Studio, where we can configure it to monitor emails. You can see that it looks like a workflow diagram, where you define any processes step by step. Blue Prism can follow these steps, and you can see the Studio update with live information as it does the work. Here, it's detected a new email and grab the email's message body along with its metadata, such as the sender's email address, when it was sent, etc. It's also detected any attachments and downloaded them, either to a local disk or to cloud storage. The next step in our process is to analyze the message. To do that, we're going to pass the message on to Google's Translate and NLP services. First, we'll use Google Translate to translate the message into English. We see the first part of the stage in the Blue Prism process is to pass the email's text to Google's Translate service. We see here, we have the email still in its original language, Spanish, and the rest of our fields that will eventually contain sentiment analysis and content classification related data are still empty. First, we pass the text onto Google's Translate service, and we see here that adding any Google service is done via a simple drag and drop. Once we get to the end of the stage in the Blue Prism process, we see that we now have the email translated to English, a language the entire customer service team can understand. We see that we've pulled keywords from our email using NLP and content classification. We see that we now know the customer's inquiry was related to electronics and networking, and we also have the sentiment analysis score. In this case, it indicates that the customer is writing to us in a negative tone. Now that we've read the email to determine what it means, the next step is to analyze the photo the customer sent. In this step, we take the photo we had saved in the first stage of our Blue Prism process, and we use Google Cloud's OCR service to actually pull the text we see in this image. And again, we see that adding Google's OCR service is done by a simple drag and drop from our intelligence skills panel into our process.
After the OCR step is completed, we see our results. We have extracted the text from the sticker on the router, and we've broken it up into variables that Blue Prism can understand. The fourth step in our process is to determine what to do about this customer's request. And right before we do this, we are going to take all the data about this customer's request that we've seen and learned so far, and we're going to pass it into Google's AutoML service in order to improve our future results from Google Translate, NLP, and Computer Vision Services. So what we're doing here is we're training all our artificial intelligence related services to be even better the next time. As we see here, this step is labeled custom machine learning. Stepping through the process, we see our data organized as values within Blue Prism. Everything from our prior steps, including the content classification and sentiment analysis. We proceed with the remainder of steps within Blue Prism to feed the data into Google's AutoML service. And most importantly, there is a human in the loop step. This is where we can take information that you and I know about the process and annotate our results. We see here that we are adding information that we know on our own to further train our AI and ML models so it can even more effectively help us the next time a customer writes to us. In this case, we are telling AutoML that a specific piece of text is the model number. Now that we've gone through these four steps, we are ready for our fifth step. This is the step where we take all the power that Blue Prism and GCP can provide in tandem and deliver real business value to our customer. As we see here, we are using all the data that we've gathered thus far. We know it's a networking related issue and we know the customer is very upset. Taking all this into account, we can conclude the best decision to make here is to dispatch a technician. So, what we see here is Blue Prism opening the Customer Service Center's application, looking up the customer based on their email address, and finally alerting our technician. This is the step where the real power of Blue Prism comes into play. Not only can Blue Prism understand a request and then fulfill it automatically, but it can also respond directly to that same message automatically as well, and even in the sender's language. In production, all of the steps we described would take just a few seconds and the customer would get a near instant response. From the company's perspective, Blue Prism can connect its logs to Google Studio so we can provide operational insights into the whole process. For example, the company can easily monitor things like the number of requests coming in and how they're trending, where in the world the requests are coming from, what languages they're in, what products or departments the requests are going to, how they break down in terms of positive or negative sentiment, how many requests are handled successfully versus how many result in exceptions, and so on. Together, Blue Prism and Google can help companies start the journey of digital transformation and to power that transformation with data-driven and continuous improvement. So let's recap what we've seen with the solution. As you saw, Blue Prism can directly monitor customer communications. This could be emails, a form on a website, a chatbot conversation, text messages, or even phone calls. It can use advanced AI and ML to understand these messages and then follow the same steps a human would to automatically handle the fulfillment and response. This is a very powerful capability that makes Blue Prism the most powerful platform for automation with RPA, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to bring digital transformation to the enterprise.